Hello everyone, welcome to Fashion Photoshop episode 1 where I will be showing you how to edit your home shot picture of your design into a professional floating product shot for your online store. First we are going to remove the background using the quick selection tool. Remember to select the background layer when using the tool. To deselect a prop, use the poly lasso tool with the minus sign setting and select the area of the prop. Use the poly lasso tool again but with the plus sign setting to select the missing areas of the garment. To deselect the negative space, use the poly lasso tool with the minus sign setting. Then click on to the select tab and select inverse. Then select image tab, adjustments, then levels. And remove the background by adjusting the tags to zero. Click the select tab and inverse again, as well as image adjustments and levels to increase opacity and contrast for the garment. To move the garment around, select the image with the rectangular marquee tool, click on the background layer and move image. So my design was pinned onto a mannequin and incomplete. So I'm going to remove the pins and replace them with buttons. Here's how. By using the patch tool, we select around the pin, then select the selected area and drag to the outside of the selected area in order to blend and retouch. To eliminate disproportion of garment, use the poly lasso tool to select around the disproportioned area. Then use the clone step tool to clone the parts of the garment onto the disproportioned area. Then use the patch tool to blend area and repeat where necessary. Remove jagged areas using the same clone stamp tool technique by cloning the background onto the garment.
Create depth by creating shadows using the burn tool. Then highlight the areas with the lighter tones using the dodge tool. To create a 3D image of the garment, create the back of the garment from the front view using the poly lasso tool, stamp tool and burn tool in order to create a shadow effect. Now to add buttons, you need to source an image of a button from Google search and save it onto your computer. Then in Photoshop, open up the document, select it with quick selection tool and press Command C or Alt C to copy the button. After that, go back to the image and paste the button with Command V. Adjust the sizing of the button and copy and paste more buttons and place them where desired. So here is your finished product from before and after. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this new um, series that I've started with hopes that I assist as many creative people, especially people who are starting an online store, hopefully um, use these kind of skills to you know edit your images to make it look professional and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more uh, you can like and comment um, if and tell me what you think and yeah thank you again for your time see you next time bye